fine. So, Lavanya, my name is Ayushi, and my profession I'm a counselor. I will be conducting your interview. That's for the position of content writer, right? And before we start the interview session, I would bring two things to your notice. First, try to attempt all the answers. Second, be really loyal with the answers. Yeah, sure. Right? Yeah. And maintain smile. Earlier, I did tell you about smile. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah right. Fine. So, please, uh, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I'll give a brief introduction about myself. My name is Lavanya. I've completed my schooling in Avila Convent and then I did my graduation in BSc Visual Communication from GRD College of Science. And then I did my MBA with PSG Institute of Management. It's a premier management institution. I cleared transit exams and top, top score to get through with the PSG. And then I have two years of content writing experience in uh, Mobius Knowledge Services, which was an e-commerce organization, after which I, I moved on to a branding uh, marketing outsourcing organization, which was uh, a CMO access outsourcing. So in both these organizations, I was able to write content, uh, which was mostly business content and e-commerce online business articles uh, and, uh, and also other articles like uh, blogs, uh, white papers and Whatever is relevant, long, long form of articles also I had written. And my strengths are, uh, I'm very sincere and hardworking. I'm, I'm fortunate to be given opportunity like this for an interview with AMB Crypto. Thank you. You know what I'll do simultaneously, I'll give you the feedback as well, right? I am noting down the feedback. Now we are also doing the recording of this session. So we'll email you the recording as soon as the session gets over. Regarding yeah. the introduction, I said earlier also, Lavanya, you have to speak something which is not mentioned in your resume. Apart okay. from your resume, you have worked as a content writer for two years. Is this mentioned in your resume? Like not very, not in detail, not in detail. I have mentioned mostly about the administrative professional experience and only little about the content writing. I think this has to be explained in detail about what organizations I had worked with in content writing. No, that's fine. That's fine. But uh, telling that I have worked for two years in content writing because they must have gone through your resume, right? Also, yeah, yeah, include, that... also include your hobbies. Yeah, sure. I will do. And uh, the introduction has to be really short. Now, in your introduction, you can uh, speak one line about yourself, a brief introduction, you know? Uh, one line about yourself, you belong to which place, one line about the place where you belong. Sum up uh, whatever education you have done, sum up in one to two lines, right? And then talk about your strength, talk about your hobbies. More elaborately. Yeah, sure. Now, my second question to you is what do you think are the integral components of a good content? Good content should be engaging uh, to the target audience. Uh, so, the objective should have to be met rightly. So, both are the most important characteristics of a good content. I believe that way. Credibility, can add credibility as well, right? Yeah, credibility. Credibility is also very important because uh, uh, once we get from right sources and validate the sources, only then uh, our article will be credible. Thank you. Now, what are the ways to decide the tone of a particular content? The tonality, for instance, has to be maintained throughout the content. Depends on the article which we are going to write. If it's a long form of content, it has to be formal uh, tone. And if it's a white paper, it has to be a formal tone. If it's a blog, then it has to take up a little casual uh, intonation. And depending on the piece of article we are going to take up, the, the tone has to be met, met according to the objectives. Also keep in mind the audience and the medium. Audience and the target audience as always has to be in mind. How can you make your information credible? Uh, the sources which from which we take our content from the research has to be perfect because once we research from credible sources, only then we can quote credible content into our uh, writing. So, like uh, sources like uh, newspaper articles or uh, uh, white papers or scholarly articles would be the right place to look in for content instead of uh, obscure blogs or something like that. Can you tell me basic difference between an article and a blog? blog 
An article uh, is, is a structured format of content wherein we'll have a, a subject, a body, a conclusion, and the introduction as well. Whereas a blog will be a little casual in tone and uh, we can structure it the way we want it. It depends on the writer's uh, requirement and the objective which has to be met for the organization. So blog is a very casual tone, but this is very structured, the long form of articles. Yeah, and also the blogs differ from, uh, 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 from the uh, latter. The reason is because of the tonality. Right. Yeah. yeah. Different yeah. article, you need a different, different blog. Now, very important question. Content writing at times can be downright monotonous. Right. What are the ways through which you can dispel boredom while writing content? Content writing has always been my passion and I'm good at it also. So boredom is very rare for me, but repetitively writing the same thing might create boredom in some cases, I agree. But that has to be done away with experimenting with different forms of content. Um, like we can vary the way we are writing so that uh, it is interesting for the reader also and interesting for the writer also. So experimenting with different tones, different formats, different word lengths and uh, the, the, the vocabulary and uh, new words can be added. So it, it interests the reader and the writer. What are the things you enjoy most about content writing? Like once somebody reads the, the content I have written, uh, they feel it, it is very interesting and informative. So the feedback I get from the, uh, the re really good content I have written, that actually satisfies and fulfills the objective of why I am writing the content. So that way, I'm, when I'm recognized, I feel very, very nice about the content. If somebody gives a negative feedback, course, I'm able to pull it into the loop and write better content the next time because there's always scope for improvement. Do you possess a good work ethic? Yeah, work Please ethics are most important. Yeah, pardon? Yeah, Please yeah. Pardon. Yeah. But work ethics are the most important aspect in writing content or anything for that matter. Whatever job we do, work ethics is the central point, the pivotal point around which the entire work structures around. Because once we are ethical only, the work we are doing is also going to be ethical and maintaining best practices and being loyal and honest to what we do is also very important. Honest. Honest, okay, honest, yeah. Oh, honest. <laughs> honest. Remember honest. earlier earlier also we had we faced this. I gave you the feedback, it's honest. Right? Yes. What are the various types of content sets and which amongst them is your fault? Um like I'll be able to write any form of content. Uh, only thing, uh, first, I, uh, strategizing what is required for the organizational need has to be first uh, set up. And once the need is uh, set, and then uh, the content can be focused on the organization. Sorry to interrupt, Lavana. Let's discuss about various types of content assets. Now, what are the content assets? So content assets, like uh, there is blogs, long form of articles, white papers, uh, scholarly articles, and uh, I mean, short news articles. Infographics, Art video. Video, infographics, yeah. podcasts, blogs, blogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. What are the type of procedures? You emphasize on to get your write-ups finally done. This is the a very important. This is a very important question. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, and the final uh, aspect of writing, for instance, always in, is delivering the right kind of content. Uh, so deliver in once delivery comes up, we have to proofread what has to what has been written. So every word has to be rightly spelled and has to make sense and has to convey the right kind of meaning to the audience. And once objectives are met and it's proofread, uh, proofread and it's verified also, then it is good to go. Very nice. You are giving prompt answer and that to accurate answer. Right, because uh, day before yesterday when I conducted one content writers interview session and this question was really very important because she, she literally called me, she said, no, this question was asked to me. 
right yes. so what you can do is very first step is in depth research regarding the in matter depth. once mm -hmm. you do in depth research second is emphasizing the fact that you use good and relevant external as well as internal links second point mm -hmm. because they they'll ask you step by step so first is in depth research then emphasize third is quoting the latest trend whatever trend is going on quote the latest trend fourth implementing what is ma'am what is the second one emphasize the fact that you use good and relevant external as well as internal link oh yes ma'am yeah internal internally ko emphasize karna hai third quoting the latest trend to make okay. your write up more credible fourth implementing necessary content checks to guard against grammatical mistakes and fall and plagiarism plagiarism Plagiar so i will be yeah i will be sharing all this with you right it is already been shared to me i have it with me oh he this, has shared yeah yeah the pdf sort of content was shared to me but i don't know whether it's exact same thing or not it is similar only to whatever questions you are asking some of the That's questions are little more to me i mean uh, some of the questions are too okay. related how can vikas how can you do this why have you shared i was supposed to give feedback based on these questions all your discussions are there in whatsapp that is when you are answering i mean how is she is so much accurate she is speaking the same words which written out here i mean that's not fair vikas sir huh? okay fine and i and i am asking sir have you shared the pdf yes yes i have shared the pdf with you i have no i know i not under this notion that he has shared the same pdf with you as well obviously then you will be more prepared right because to... tomorrow interview even if this did happen then i have to be prepared to send it ma'am that's why he has already shared it to me ha ah, that is fine that is fine but i i now i have to mold the question and ask you okay <laughs> okay are you adept in planning and scheduling your work yeah planning and scheduling of work is the most important aspect for any job and content writing for that matter Uh, making ready a calendar and assigning tasks to the particular date and time and keeping a reminder so that each task is completed on time before the delivery schedule and the deadline should be uh, kept in mind when writing the content itself and uh, so delivery is has to be done on the correct time to to the client or to the reader what are the ways through which you can integrate seo into your content to rank high in google search engine optimization is uh, the right method because now everybody is into search engine optimization so uh, writing content for seo is not stuffing keywords into the content but writing really uh, con uh, content that reads well so automatically it ranks high in google and of course strategically keywords have to be placed now and then after researching on the keyword and then placing them in the content including the hashtag right the yeah, hashtags are also very important yes but especially for social media content hashtags are very important because we have trend of hashtag everywhere yeah you know uh, earlier what youtube had done youtube and insta anyone who, who would add a uh, hashtag of trending and viral to their post their their uh, whatever post they are creating did go viral so now they have stopped literally it came on newspaper also they have stopped this hashtag saying trending and hashtag viral they have literally stopped this hashtag because everybody whether their video was informative or not everybody was using this trending and viral these two hashtags if they ask you know content of a newspaper news articles formal content they don't use hashtags much mostly for social media content they use it yeah they might ask you about the social media content so say, yes ma'am and if they'll ask you two things which social media has recently removed two hashtag that is trending and viral okay yes ma'am right now how would you capture our company's vision you must have gone through it Pardon, ma'am. No, this I didn't get this question. Or I didn't get your question. Or what is it, ma'am? Can you please repeat it? Yeah, you didn't get my question. Otherwise, you have gone through this question. I know. How would you capture our company's vision? Company's vision. Uh, uh, 
um the amb crypto and the, uh, i have to uh, like read about the company's vision because uh, in the website which i had gone through the company's vision is uh, uh, not uh, i mean not displayed so i would like to ask the question to you itself ma'am what exactly is the company's vision so that i can align to the goals of your organization and work accordingly uh, in the research i made i couldn't get the vision from them hmm vision means objective don't never do this in an interview never do this in an interview because see vision is something what is the objective why are you applying okay. at our company what are the role and responsibilities right okay so never ask them ma'am please tell me or i i, uh, I have uh, gone through that nahi they in, in short they are asking about the role and responsibility suppose if you are applying at byju's or an academy any platform so the uh, the hr wants you to have thorough knowledge For which the company you are applying, either they might say, "What do you know about our company? Why do you want to uh, apply at our company?" Or second, but actually, say, they don't have an official website, and the vision is not displayed. I mean, that case, what should they do? Like maybe oh. uh, in that case, talk about the role and responsibilities and the objective. Okay. Simple. Okay. 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 Right. Can I try again, answer, ma'am? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. how would you capture our company's vision yeah the roles and responsibilities given in the newsletter writer uh, aims to address the audience which is uh, investors and uh, uh, entrepreneurs so investors and entrepreneurs sorry to interrupt again what did i say roles and responsibilities now whatever i am telling you directly don't have to speak that getting my point okay. of view if they are asking yeah. you how do you capture a company's vision i am telling you you can answer role and responsibilities but don't directly tell them okay so the role and responsibilities are this no getting to know simply mm -hmm. start by so say ma'am uh, okay uh, i could relate to this company by according to my predictions or i could relate easily to this company by then start what are the role responsibilities but do not mention that you will be talking about the roles and responsibilities Yes, ma'am. That is that is in the mock interview. I am telling you, if they are asking about the vision, talk about the roles and responsibilities. But do not tell them that you are talking about mentioning the roles and responsibilities, because they will be like, yeah, "We are yeah. asking the vision. Why is she talking about the roles and responsibilities?" Whereas they want you to talk about that only, but not mentioning that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Start yeah. again. Okay. Uh, I or can you can relate. To or you could say vision. well according to me the company's vision or company's focus emphasizes on then da 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 start the point right yeah yeah okay so how do you capture now i'll not ask you this question for a third time let me ask you other questions then we'll come back to this question because okay? we'll be prepared what are the ways through which you can handle feedback uh if the feedback is positive then i would uh, accept it and uh, move on with it if the feedback is negative then i'll work on the negatives and uh, implement it in my writing hmm. are you comfortable working in a team or separately i am always a team player if uh, i i would like to work in a team only if it's if we collaborate the productivity would be much higher but in case if a uh, individual task is given to me also i would yes it one what are your strength as a content writer my vocabulary is very good i have like i, I have reading reading breeds writing i believe because i have been a voracious reader from young age so vocabulary is my strength otherwise also the number of words i could churn out in a day is very high now that i could churn out even 2000 3000 words a day continuously to that uh, sort of bandwidth i have won't stop in between time speak sentence in one go and one flow fine how do you examine your content performance content forms in the sense examination in the sense uh, once we write the content before that itself it has to be structured so analyzing how you structure it for example starting with deciding your deciding on your goals okay with social media then other media sources then use analytical tools adjust your strategy analyze previous data and then repeat Mm. Mm. So there, there, there are literally seven steps which I will be emailing to you. If you do not have, I right? don't have this. I don't have this. I will be sharing with you. Fine. Okay, let's come to the last question, and that is again. 
what are your strength as a content writer um i'm sincere and hard working that's the basic thing and as a content writer my vocabulary is very good so when i incorporate my writing my the, the number of words into writing it would be made, made very interesting to read for the reader Uh, how would you capture a company's vision uh, mb crypto is a leading organization with 2.5 million subscribers so uh, i would relate to the company's vision that it now caters the artificial intelligence tools now caters to uh, entrepreneurs and investors and my writing in the newsletter would uh, definitely be aimed at uh, this target audience and improve the, improving their lives and that's the productivity of mb crypto an artificial intelligence tools your new venture okay now what is artificial intelligence is you have talked about it artificial intelligence uh, is um, it's it's like the definition is it mimics human intelligence and uh, it makes lives of individuals everybody uh, humans easier by robotics and other uh, trends in artificial intelligence like internet of things big data and uh, the rest of it now how do you prepare for an interview for the newsletter writer position i have already been a newsletter writer in college i had been a college reporter for the college newsletter called epoch wire so i have been part of writing it as well as editing it as well and i have been part of the team which has produced the newsletter could you please share, so, could you please share, share experience in, in uh, newsletter writing yeah epoch wire had uh, written, as i've told you already ma'am uh, epoch wire was a college newsletter in undergraduation wherein i wrote uh, news articles for the newsletter wherein we covered uh, uh, young audiences and uh, the the so social disturbances which affected young audiences uh, college um, events and also we had interviews of uh, important personalities uh, it was mentioning uh, it was majorly catering to the young audience ma'am and after which now recently i was volunteering to a community magazine which is also a e magazine a newsletter format only uh, it was a bilingual both in tamil and english and i contributed only english articles to the e magazine what skills and qualification do you possess that make you a good fit for this role i am a good fit for this role because i have years of experience in content writing and also um uh, i am a good writer i know i have passion for writing and uh, i would like you to give a writing test for me so that i can take up a writing test in future and uh, uh, explain how i have written can you provide an example of a situation where you had to fact check and ensure the accuracy of information in your content exam uh, yeah all every every piece of article i write this has to be done this is a routine process for every content writer so uh, fact checking has to be done gram there are a lot of ai tools like grammarly quillbot and uh, these these can be incorporated to make the content writing smart working just to check the grammar otherwise authentic content written by the, myself will be uh, after after strenuous research i'll write after validating the content i'll write the content after structuring it into several paragraphs and giving headers and subheaders so this is a process i follow what experience do you have with coordinating with our teams with other teams such as content and sales yeah this um, i have done a branding initiative in cmo access where in a small and medium enterprises branding initiative we had done and also in a previous organization which was the tamil nadu government public health department i had been the go to person for communication i was a referral point for any a sort of communication like drafting counter affidavits proposals whatever it had to go through the higher departments i was a central point uh, i used to write all english content for my office specific i was sought after for this actually how do you manage your time to meet deadlines for news letter publication we have to be prompt in uh, writing the content for that uh, we have to use reminders and set up a calendar and stick to the calendar and follow it to the dot uh, and also 
be aware, aware of the deliverables for the newsletter and plan accordingly so that the delivery also happens promptly ma'am what motivates you to work in the ai industry and create content in this field everybody wants to catch up on the ai industry because there's a new emerging trend uh, people say that uh, uh, persons without artificial intelligence knowledge will become obsolete in some time so it is very uh, fortunate that i've come to this industry at the right point of time when there is a ai boom happening and i want to specifically write content for ai for this very reason and the reason why we should hire you can you mention that uh hiring process oh my gosh i i i didn't prepare for this question how do you deal with criticism in your life yeah criticism if it's positive criticism i'll handle it and uh, i'll move on accepting it but if it's negative criticism then i'll work on it and if it's hurtful also i'll ignore it okay and uh, if you get rejected today what are your backup plan I believe that AMB Crypto is the place I have to work in. It's the right platform for me to showcase my skills and uh, prove myself. So I will again try improve myself, work on my strengths, work on the negatives which have been uh, pointed out by the uh, interview process, and then again apply for AMB Crypto. And this is the platform I'll be in. Man, HR will not be talking about the negatives in your interview, right? Don't say this line. So I'm. I'll, I'll focus on the reasons which made me reject, and uh, I'll make sure I, I again uh, follow up with the interview session because I do not want to miss this prestigious uh, opportunity to be placed at such institution or such job board. Right? Say that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they might ask you, uh, where do you see yourself in the next ten years? in the next 10 years i would have grown in my career i would i would be in a managerial position uh, leading a team hopefully in your same organization i i wish to have a long term uh, uh, long term uh, uh, i mean association with your organization so i would be le leading content prepare this answer well because they might ask you see in an, as i said earlier in an interview there are three round first is introduction round Right in the introduction round, they can ask you such questions. If you get rejected today, what are your backup plans? Where do you see yourself in next ten years? And how do you deal with criticism? Then they'll ask you general questions regarding the job which you are applying. You have already gone through that earlier. Also, when I had conducted conducted your interview, that time also you were telling, ma'am, I really can't deal with these type of questions. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's right. These are mandatory questions because these are questions wherever you will apply, they will be asking you questions like that. Yeah. Very important. Right. So prepare these questions, and last is why should we hire? Now, uh, say, ma'am, uh, I have the required skills and talent. I have good communication skill, good conference level. I'm an active listener, quite patient. I only need a platform where I'll get an opportunity to showcase all these skills. And your company is one of the best company in the best platform for me to fit in. Yeah, Simple. yeah, that's right. You mean this? You said this answer. Talk about your skills. and say ma'am having these skills i need a platform where i'll be given an opportunity to showcase these skills indirectly you are telling them i have everything please provide me a platform where i can showcase my talent yes so this yes, is the best ma'am rest regarding your job or which you are applying you have core knowledge and that's the best part just brush up on these skills right yes ma'am you have questions in mind you can ask me yeah only sometimes you know when somebody uh, when the interview asks me question i get blank ma'am somehow i some questions it blanks me out i don't know how to handle that at all for example with sort of questions this especially this uh, why should we hire you a thing came to my mind because because uh, uh, you have not gone through this these things what i think is looking at you you know your grasping power is incredible i mean if you will read something you grasp it right but this is something which you do not have to read from somewhere it has it has to be natural now when i asked you why should we hire you, you the reason why your mind went blank is because you were not prepared for this mm. okay you know you know you are applying for content writer so whatever questions you have gone brushed up your skills on all the questions but not this 
getting mm-hmm. to know why should mm-hmm. we hire you you know how will i deal because i haven't you haven't gone through it so uh, in youtube or watch our other videos or in youtube you can write what a normal general questions for interview so these are questions will come so you can go through these questions that your mind already has an answer to this this is the best thing you can do yes ma'am if you have some resource for this hr basic questions can you please share it with me i'll share the pdf with you sure Yeah, once if I read it, I will grasp. I'll I'll be able to grasp. Is it actually interview? Is it tomorrow? Your interview? Tomorrow, yes, tomorrow, eleven o'clock. Meet me, meet me for half an hour or forty minutes. I just want to brush up on these skills. I will be sharing the PDF. Go through the PDF once before you have your actual interview. Meet me if it's possible for you. Meet me. I'll only ask you these questions. Just these questions. Okay, 